Hi everyone, I'm Harshwardhan, an artificial intelligence engineer, and you're watching other web guide channel. And in this project, we are going to sketchify an image. That means uh, we will be getting a uh, pencil sketch version of an image using Python. So let's get started. And if you have not yet subscribed, hit the subscribe button and also hit the notification bell icon so you don't miss any of our upcoming videos. So here I am on my Jupyter Notebook and uh, we have uh, three different files here. The first one is sketchify.ipythonnotebook, then uh, actor image and uh, another is the image that we will be using. So let me go to this notebook. So to complete our project, we need two different modules. One is CV2 module and another one is matplotlib module. So this CV2 module is the computer vision module for Python and uh, we will use this matplotlib module to show the images. Now if you don't have this CV2 module just go to Google and write CV2 pi pi and now click on this very first link open CV Python pi pi. Now copy this command pip install opencv python and execute this in your anaconda prompt. So now I'll close this tab and this one also. Now right here in the cell I will write import cv2 and I need to import matplotlib.pyplot as plt. Now we have to read the image, so we will say image is equal to cv2 dot im read and uh, we need to pass the image that we need to read. So we will say image dot jpeg and we need to read this image in a grayscale format. So we will provide zero as a flag. Now let's uh, run the cell and uh, with plt dot I am show will provide image with cmap of gray. So here you can see the image we will be getting is a, a black and white image of Bugs Bunny. Now you may ask why we need black and white image because if you visualize the final output you will find that there should only be the sketch of uh, this particular image, not the coloring of this particular image, right? So we don't care about the color of the image. That's why we have imported it in a black and white or a grayscale image. Now we need to invert this image. So to invert the image, we have to say 255 minus image. Now you may ask that why I'm going to do this 255 minus image because if we check image dot max so the maximum value in any image is 255 and the minimum image is zero so i will just say img dot min and you can see that the range in which uh, the value of pixel is present in this particular image is in between zero to 255 that's why I'm going to perform this 255 minus image to invert the image and I will put it in a, a variable called inv. Now let's see this image. So I will say plt dot im show and uh, I will pass inv with cmap of gray. Now you can see that the image is now inverted that means all the white is now converted to black so after the inversion we need to apply the Gaussian blur why we are going to blur see in this particular image we have uh, noise and also various detailed information about the image but by using this particular Gaussian blur we will be removing those uh, detailed information and noise from the image so I will just uh, implement the same and I will say cv2 dot Gaussian blur and the image we need to pass is uh, inv that means the inverted image and uh, we will provide a kernel size k size 
of 21 cross 21. So this uh, K size is the width and the uh, height of that particular kernel from which we will be convolving our particular image. That means the, the given image INV. And uh, we will provide the sigma x to 0 and uh, sigma y to 0. Run the cell. I should uh, put inside a variable. We got some error. It says sigma. Oh, it should be small s. And uh, we will put it in a variable called blur. Actually, you are smoothening the image, right? The technical term is smoothing an image. Now, we have to show the image. Oops, what has happened? One second. Awesome. So, it's a plt dot im show. And uh, now, I will pass smooth an image. So, blur. And the C map will obviously be a gray. Now, here you can see that uh, the image is now blur. That means uh, you have removed the detailed information from that particular image. From, that means from this image. So, now we will uh, implement a technique called dodging and burning. This dodging and burning technique is an old photography technique which is used during the printing process to manipulate the exposure of a selected area on a photographic print. So now I will show you the algorithm to implement the same using OpenCV. So here we will write dodge and we will implement a anonymous function, a lambda function. So I will say lambda and uh, it will take two different parameters. One is image and another one is mask. Now we need to write the statement that is to be returned. So we will say cv2 dot divide and uh, let me put it above and now I will say image then 255 minus of mask and we will uh, provide a scalar factor scale to 256. Let's uh, run the cell. And uh, now we have to blend this uh, dodged image. It's just a function. So we will use this function to blend this particular blurred image. That means the smoothen image with this particular image. That means the grayscale image. So what I will do, I will say blended is equals to dodge. And we will pass the image. Which image? Image will be this particular grayscale image. So I will say image and the blur. Now we have to see this particular image. So I will say plt dot I am show and then blended with C map of gray. So it's running. And right here you can see that we have converted our uh, Bugs Bunny colorful image to a pencil sketch image. Now, if you want to save this image to your local drive, you can just say cv2 dot I am right and you will pass the name of the file. That means you will say, let's say image sketch dot JPEG and you will uh, say the image that is need to be converted that means blended let's run the cell and you can see the output is true that means uh, the image is now saved so i will show you the same so here you can see that we got an uh, file called image sketch dot jpeg let's open this and you can see that we have obtained our pencil sketch image using python so now i will show you an another example of a uh, robert downey so i will just say actor it should be actor and right here i will say giff run the cell again i will just see the image and we got an error what is the error 
it cannot be converted to float so let's check what is the value inside image so i am just let's just say i am g and uh, there is nothing in this image so what is the extension it's a jfif okay i have uh, made here a mistake so it is jfif run the cell delete the cell again run the cell and you can see that the image of uh, robert downey in gray scale form is now loaded to our jupyter notebook again we will just see the min max of that particular image minimum is 0 and maximum is 255 invert the image see the inverted image and uh, now we will apply the gaussian blur to smoothen the image that means we will remove the detailed information from that particular image and let's see the smoothen image right and now we will uh, perform the dodging and burning uh, algorithm and uh, let's blend the image that means uh, the smoothen image and that particular grayscale image and let's see that image so here you can see that uh, the image is now converted to a pencil sketch image so that's all for this lecture. See you in the next one.